Hi guys, if you are viewing my channel first time, please subscribe to my channel for more updates on embedded systems. Today we are mainly discussing about a digital primer. We will discuss few digital basics with respect to our embedded system. Okay, here first one is a binary logic. Two voltage levels can be represented as two digits 0 and 1. Here logic 0 we have one voltage level and logic 1 we have another voltage level. Signals in digital electronics have two distinct voltage levels with built-in tolerances for variations in the voltage. For example, 0 volt to 1 volt, we are considering it as logic 0. 3 volts to 5 volt, we are considering it as logic 1. A valid digital signal should be within either of the two shared areas. For example, if I want to consider a valid logic, the voltage level should be within this shaded range. Otherwise, it will be invalid logic. Okay, next we will discuss on the logic gates. First one is AND gate. This is my Boolean expression. Output equal to A dot B. Okay, this is my AND gate symbol. Okay, here I have two inputs, 2 power 2, I have four combinations, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. This is my output. If all inputs are 1, then only my output is 1. Otherwise, my output is 0. If any input is 0, my output always 0. This is my AND gate truth table. Similarly, we will discuss OR gate. This is my Boolean expression. Output equal to A plus B. This is my OR symbol. Okay, here again I have two inputs, 2 power 2, we have four combinations, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, here if any input is 1, my output is 1. If all inputs are 0, then only my output is 0. This is my OR uh, get. Okay, next we will discuss on the tri-state uh, tri tri buffer. Okay, here we have one data input, one enable, one output. This is the inversion output. Okay, here I have enable pin. If my enable pin is 0, my output always high. Okay, if you see output, if any in any case of input, my output always high. Okay, next we will see. Uh, if my enable is 1, my input will be inverted to the output. See here the enable is 1, my input is 0, my output is 1. Similarly, my enable is 1, my input is 1, my output is 0, inverted output. See whenever the enable pin is activated, then only my input will be inverted to the output. This is my tri-state buffer. Okay, next we'll discuss on the inverter. This is my output x equal to a bar. a is my input, my output is a bar. Here I have only one uh, one combination, 0 and 1, 2 power 1 means 2. Here we have only 0 and 1. 0 means my output is 1, 1 means 0. Okay, it will, it will be inverted output. Okay, XR, this is my Boolean expression, X equal to A exclusive B. This is my Boolean expression. This is my exclusive R. Okay, uh, this is my symbol of my exclusive R. Again, I have two combination, two inputs, 2 power 2, we have four combinations, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Here, uh, mainly this XR we are using for the parity checking. Okay, here uh, if it is having hard parity, odd number of uh, ones, then my output is 1. Even number of ones, my output is 0. Okay, this is a way uh, for parity checking we are using this uh, mainly XR gate. Okay, next here we will discuss more on the NAND gate. Already we know the AND gate. A dot B is my AND gate. To the bar is my NAND gate. Okay, this is my AND gate. I just added my bubble inverted output is my NAND gate. Okay, here if all inputs are 1, my output is 0. If any input is 0, my output is 1. Okay, this is my NAND gate uh, truth table. Okay, next NOR gate. This is the inversion of the OR gate. A plus B is my OR gate uh, uh, Boolean expression. Just I am giving the complement. This is my OR gate. I am just adding my bubble. This is my NOR gate. Okay, again 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 because of these two inputs, 2 power 2, we have four combinations. Okay, if all inputs are 0, my output is 1. If any uh, any input is 1, my output is 0. This is the inverted output. If you see here, AND gate is triple zero one. 1. Here, NAND gate is triple one zero. 1, inverted output, just. Okay, here, OR gate, 0, triple one. 1. Here, 1, triple zero. 0. This is the inverted output, just, simple. Okay, next, we'll discuss on the OFF adder and FULL adder. Okay, here uh, by using basic gates, we are designing the OFF adder and FULL adder. If I want to add two digits, then we are using this OFF adder. For example, if I want to de design an, one exclusive R by using one AND gate, two AND gates, one R gate, we are designing one exclusive R and uh, one AND gate just I replaced here. Okay, this is the same uh, logic designs. I'm using the one XR and one uh, AND gate. S equal to X exclusive B exclusive Y, X exclusive Y. This is my exclusive R. This is my carry is my output X and Y. Okay, similar way we'll uh, understand here. For example, let us assume X and Y. I am just mentioned as A and B. Okay, here uh, my 
just replacement x i represented with a and y i represented with b okay here 0 0 here i have again two inputs i have four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 okay here i am doing the sum okay here i will get the sum 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 1 1 and 1 plus 0 1 and here 1 plus 1 means 1 0 1 0 0 is sum 1 is carry okay this is a similar way i represented output okay here uh, i have two inputs i have two outputs here uh, by using off adder we can add only the two inputs okay for example why the full adder is required if i want to add a carry then full adder is required here i cannot add one more input here we have only two inputs and two outputs in case of full adder we are using two off adders we are designing one full adder okay here one exclusive one and is my one of the off adder this is another off adder just i am using one of the or up or get okay this way i am designing my full adder okay full adder it will take the three inputs and two outputs one is sum and other is carry okay here x y i am just replacing with a b and z i am replacing with c and y because this i can use for the carry okay so that i can add three inputs here Okay, 0, 0, 0. I have 3 inputs. 2 power 3 means 8 combination. Here 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. This way we can represent easily. 2 zeros, 2 ones, 2 zeros, 2 ones, 4 zeros, 4 ones. This is the way we can represent our binary uh, just representation. Okay, if I want to add the all the digits, 0, 0 plus 0 plus 0, I will get the 0 uh, sum and 0 carry. Okay, similar with 0 plus 0 plus 1, uh, 1. Here uh, sum is 1, carry is 0. Similarly, I have 1, 0 plus 1 plus 0. I have sum is 1, carry is 0. Here 0 plus 1 plus 1. Here we have two ones means my output is 1, 0. 0 is uh, sum, carry is 1. Similarly, I have only 1 in this row. 1 plus 0 plus 0. I have only one sum, carry is 0. Here I have two ones means 1, 0 output. 0 is sum, carry is 1. Okay, next I have again two ones my output is 1 0 0 is my sum carry is 1 i have three uh, ones three ones means 1 plus 1 plus 1 i have 1 1 1 1 my, my output uh, addition output that's why carry is 1 sum is 1 this is a way i got three uh, two outputs using the three inputs okay if i want to design a one four bit uh, adder so that i can use four full adders okay here it is taking the carry from the previous initially carry is 0 and two inputs these are three inputs and two outputs again three inputs two outputs three inputs two outputs okay again three inputs two outputs okay by using uh, full adder we are adding only two bits here okay two bits one carry okay similar way here i am designing the four bit adder okay here from the carry is my another input okay here just i am using the uh, full adder uh, four full adders i am designing four bit adder so that here i can add four uh, four bit adders here a0 a1 a2 a3 and b0 b1 b2 b3 okay this is a four bit adder by using four full adders i am designing the one four bit adder okay here we'll discuss more on the uh, address decoder decoder can be widely used for address decoding in the computer design okay here i have the address decoder for the nine one double zero one this is my nine i am passing to the input zero zero this is my middle two zeros it will be complemented to one one okay and get to the all uh, all the inputs to the and gate will be all are ones my output is one okay here the output will be one if uh, if only the input one double zero one why because this two zeros will be inverted to the one four ones i am passing to the and gate my output is one okay similar way i am passing to the y this is my lsb is my one okay one zero one zero i am passing to here zero it will be complemented to one again zero will be complemented to one four one uh, four ones i am passing to this under gate again my output will be one okay here is lsb is top why right? because this is my lsb one zero one zero okay similar way i represented here what is my input will be all ones one zero means it will be complemented to one again one 0, 0 will be complemented to 1. All 4, 4 ones I am giving to the under gate, my output is 1. By using this address decoding, we can just find out whether logic 1 or logic 0. Okay, next we'll discuss on the flip flop. Okay, if I want to store one bit of data, we need this uh, digital gate, one of the flip flop to store our data. For example, if my clock is 0, I am not uh, giving any clock. 
there is no change in in our data for example if i am giving to the clock zero my next state i am just giving the clock my st next state is zero okay similar way i am just giving my uh, data is one my next state is always one why because uh, here it is able to store one bit by using the flip flop we are able to store one bit this is a logic gate it will store one bit in the next state for example if i give the clock whatever the previous stored bit it will get the output in the current state okay this is the way we are uh, using the flip plus we are designing our memories for example if i want to design uh, one mb of memory we need to uh, these many uh, uh, flip flops we need to use and design our memories okay next we'll discuss units of the data size for example in case of bit either 0 or 1 we are calling it as bit byte means 8 bits either um, zeros are ones we, we need to consider eight bits we are calling it as one byte nibble means only four bits ward means two bytes are 16 bit okay this is my ward we need to uh, remember uh, byte means eight bits nibble means four bits and ward means 16 bits and uh, here i want to represent the memories like uh, 2 power 10 means 1 kb 2 power 10 bytes means 1 kb 2 power 20 bytes means 1 mb and 2 power 30 bytes means 1 GB and 2 power 40 means uh, 1 TB. Okay, based on the bytes, we are representing our memories. Okay, this is the way we need to represent our memories. Okay, mainly we need to remember uh, what is the units and also this memory uh, alignment. What is my 1 MB means? 1 MB means 2 power 20, 1 GB means 2 power 30 and 1 TB means 2 power 40 bytes. These many bytes we are considering and we are representing with this uh, kilo, mega and giga and terabytes. Thank you friends, thank you for watching.